Hello again everyone, Edwin Lurk back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about the transit Black Moon Lilith sextile or trine one's natal Pluto. Now, this transit may manifest in a higher level of this transit of powerful enemies, uh, people that play a prominent role in your life, of being in harmony with uh, power, control, your desire, and passion. Now, I'm going to elaborate and expound on that. The thing about this is it's not about powerful enemies, you know, really, like literally being in power, um, being in harmony with your uh, power and control, but you have a passion and desire for, but you may have a passion and desire for more dealing with enemies at this time. And also, um, activities that are connected with people that play a uh, provocative uh, role you know in your life at this time having that passion and desire uh, to do this and being in control more of uh, situations that involve powerful enemies whether it's somebody that may be you know, slandering you and affecting your public image your reputation or it's somebody that might be you know domineering you know Maybe it's a home or family member that's become very uh, adversarial and someone that's become very domineering and controlling, you know, as some examples. And the thing about this is, you know, when this, um, on the first uh, state, as far as this transit goes, the transit of the uh, BML, Black Moon Lilith, naturally it doesn't supplant or replace your, uh, your natal BML placement. Natal BML placement is with you for the duration and entirety of your life. Where as this transit, okay, you're a fact, you could be affected positively by this transit because I'm talking about, of course, a sex dollar trine aspect, positively by this aspect during the time of the transit, but just during, you know, that time you may feel some, you know, effects from it, and also, of course, the house that it transits as well at the time. And, the thing about um, this as well, as some of you may wonder, what is the difference between this transit and the conjunction transit? Well, the sextile and trine aspects and the conjunction um, are comparable, but they're not precisely or exactly the same. The sextile and trine aspects are harmonious. They're, um, they're positive, they're favorable, it forms a good relationship between, uh, in this case, the transit of the BML to the natal Pluto. Um, but when you have, um, you know, the conjunction, the conjunction is a neutral aspect and can have good and bad qualities in it. Uh, conjunctions in astrology are very um, intensifying, integrating, amalgamating. It's a strong concentration of energy. When you have the transit black moon, those making a conjunction to the natal it might be where you could become very you know, obsessed or fixated over Plutonian uh, you know, matters, whether it could be the occult, which includes astrology, or matters with insurance or inheritance. It could be a you know, crisis that may be going on in your life. It might be somebody, maybe, maybe there was a death that you're dealing with or trying to make some major change or transformation. And uh, you know, in some cases, it could also be you know, some kind of trauma. You know that could be you know, connected uh, with with Pluto. I mean, actually, the Black Moon Lows and Pluto both have a connection to trauma because trauma because they are they're comparable in their meanings, and you know you could have some you know issues. And Pluto is connected with the colon, prostate, bladder, reproductive system, the urinary tract. So there can be intensified trauma with the conjunction aspects. So, but what I want to say. Uh, as far as this transit goes, again, we're going, um, getting to what Pluto, you know, is connected with anatomically. Again, it is associated uh, with the colon, the prostate, the bladder, uh, the reproductive system, the urinary tract. So it can be a time where you may have that right amount of, uh, of a passion and desire to deal with those issues. If you have any of those, um, any of those issues that have been going on and you've procrastinated or hesitated on those matters, this could be the time where you have that right amount of passion and desire to do something about it. And also, people that play a prominent role in your life may be beneficial in those matters as well in terms of assisting you in dealing with those problems if you do have any with them. And also, too, I would say as well, 
um, even if there's no issues with them, if you're just, you know, you're an older person and you want to get, you know, something checked with the prostate or the colon, this is a time where you might have that, again, the passion, the, the desire to actually do something about it and you'll contact, contact that physician or whatever it is you need to do to deal, um, you know, with the matter at this time. And it's also, again, um, you know, when you have um, you know, this energy as well, you know, transit, you know, the black moon also can be connected, you know, with something various that may be going on. And this is about trying to get power and control over those issues at this time. And if it's something, say, if you have the, um, you know, the transit BML in the seventh house, you know, it could be dealing, you know, with some, uh, it could be, you know, somebody in a relationship you're with, um, you know, that's expressing, you know, you know, that may be nefarious and might be, you know, some a significant other, um, it, you know, maybe you're in a contentious situation with the person or, you know, or some kind of, you know, abusive situation and you're trying to contend and deal with it, and it might be a good opportunity to gain um, the power and uh, control, you know, over, you um, over those matters at this time and it's also um, a time as well um, you know, when you have this transit you know I mean transit the black moon was can be about what you know they put one in a strong state of fright or trepidation and you know at the time that I'm making this video the transit black moon was is in the zodiac sign cancer so what may be putting a lot of people in some you know, strong state of fright at this time, or you know, it might be family related issues, it might be actually procreating, starting a family, um, it may be expressing just you know, general sympathy or being protected. Maybe there's a fear of being hurt as a result. Um, it's a time as well, it could be some fear of losing some kind of safety and security. And when you have this transit of the, the BML making sextile or trying to the natal Pluto, it's a time where you might be more uh, able to get control over that, over that fear at this point in time, more so than usual. And it's also a you know, time if you're trying to resurrect something, you know, Pluto is about rebirth and regeneration. If you have, um, you know, say, you know, the, um, say your natal Pluto is in the 10th house. It could be, you know, about resurrecting or reviving some kind of business or a career. And when this transit takes place, this could be the time where you might have you know, more of that passion, the desire to do so. It could be that people that play a provocative role in your life may be beneficial in you um, doing this, you know, at this uh, point in time. And the thing about this is as well, um, you know, this is also you know, a time, you know, if you're dealing you know, with any corruption or crime, you know, this is the time as well, you know, where you can, um, you know, use, maybe use the higher level of, the, of this transit. In this case, you know, I mean, I'm sorry, at this time of this video that I'm making this video, again, the transit BML is in the zodiac sign cancer. So it can be, you know, using protective qualities, being, um, you know, using uh, being dedicated, devoted, tenacious. Um, it's a time where you can use that energy in being able to deal, you know, with any with some crime if it's in your neighborhood, um, as an example. And um, you know, it could be like starting a neighborhood watch community, you know, as a very, of course, basic example. And, um, and that could go for, I mean, coercion as well. If you're dealing with some kind of bullying or you know somebody that is dealing with it at this time, this is a time where you can use you know, that transit, the energy of the transit, embracing of the positive in it to be able to contend and deal with those issues at this time. Now, another thing too, another way this transit may be expressed, it could be um, where it's positive, um, for really, again, that intense passion and this desire, which is the black moon world, uh, to make um, you know major change or transformation, which is Pluto. Now, let's say, for example, if the natal Pluto is in Libra in the fourth house, it could be you know, making a more aesthetically appealing, which is Libra, um, a home, which is the fourth house, you know, such as you know, interior decoration, as an example. Hold on a moment, people.
Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. And also, too, people that may play a, a provocative role in your life, which is the BML, may be in harmony and agreement with what you have the passion and desire for, what you're expressing emotional intensity for, which is Pluto. Um, let's say, for example, if the natal Pluto is in Virgo, in the fifth house, like, like mine, uh, it could be some kind of analytical, which is Virgo, um, amusement and enjoyment, which is the fifth house. And also, um, an attempt to embrace the higher level of the black moon or transit may be assisted by somebody you're in an intimate relationship with or shared resources scenario with, which is Pluto. And, um, could also be, um, and you know, at the time of this trans, you know, transit black moon wolf is in the zodiac sign cancer. So that energy, you know, you may be, um, what you may be trying to embrace, um, maybe again being connected with, be more dedicated, devoted, tenacious, nurturing, caring, sympathetic, as some examples. And also, you know, that void in the life, which is the black moon wolves, may be dealt with by having, you know, the desire more um to just um you know to to really to just deal with it and, and get over it um at this time if the transit let's say if the transit black moon moth is in um aquarius you know that void in your life may be associated with friends or groups you may feel ostracized or exiled by society maybe it's the simple expression of uh, ingenuity um you know, as some examples. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Arnold saying, stay well.